What is going on everybody? It's Brian with mtmmix.com. In this video, we're going to be going over how to properly compress a vocal. A lot of times, especially in hip hop and rap music, you could throw a fast compressor onto your track, on your vocals, and you could just adjust the threshold, keeping the attack fast, and usually call it a day. But when you're working with something that's a little bit more gentle, like a melodic vocal line that has a big dynamic range as far as the volume goes, you gotta be more attentive to the compressor settings. Now, I'm gonna show you guys on the screen how to make sure when you're mixing uh, a melodic vocal line that has a, a wider dynamic range, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly compress that vocal so you don't lose any of the expression that's buried into the vocal. So let's hop on the screen, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, cool, so we're on the screen now. We got a session up. It's a very basic session. All that it is is a guitar track as well as a vocal track. Start off by just renaming this vocal just so we're clear, we understand things and kind of stands out so we could really see what we're working with. So throughout the song, there's parts that are quiet. There's parts that sort of build up more tension. And always the first thing that I do when I have a record like this is I will go to the part of the song that seems to be the loudest and dynamic, something that will give a good example of the highest peaks of the waveforms and uh, just an overall the loudest volume that the singer was, uh, was belting out. So I'll play this for you with a general compression setting that is sort of set to what you would use for, say, like a rapper or something. Um, this middle guy right here is the compressor. You could see the attack is really fast. Um, the release is really fast. Then the input is pretty driven. And usually I use this technique when I'm trying to push a rap vocal to the front of the mix. In this case, you don't always want it to be so in your face, uh, but more subtle and expressive. So let me show you what this sounds like with a general rap kind of, uh, I guess you could sort of call it a preset. Uh, what you would use for a rap vocal. Take a listen. Oh, that I was worth fighting for it. Wanted you to love me for me. I wanted you to see I was weak. I needed you to come through my pain. And All right, so you get the you get the idea. Uh, you could tell that it's pretty squashed. I mean, it sounds decent but the vocal is very squashed. You're getting rid of all the expression that she put into the, the vocal performance, and that cuts away from a big part of the song. So what you wanna do, I'll always start with my input. I'll aim for around three to five decibels tops of gain reduction. Uh, this is what is being previewed on this little uh, fake screen right here. Uh, I'll always start with my input knob, uh, my output knob, I'll go based off of what the meters are reading. In this case, I'm probably not going to touch it because it's good, but I'm going to start with the input. I'll go over to the attack, slow the attack down a little bit so you could get some more of that uh, expression out. And then I'm going to go over to the release and slow that down as well so you get just a smoother vocal. So I'm going to do this. Uh, take a listen. Oh, that I was worth fighting for it. Wanted you to So that's a really good example right there. You could see the overall effect of the compressor as I turned it on and off. You're able to see that it does push the vocal way to the front. Uh, it gives it some energy. And it also keeps those dynamics in her voice there. It doesn't completely get rid of them. It does tone them down a tiny bit, but it doesn't get rid of that expression that she's trying to bring to the mix. 
Now, the next thing that I want to bring up is a lot of people will say, yeah, so you compress for the louder part, but what about her quieter parts? There's going to be no compression going on. And that's completely true. And what I think a lot of people think is you people think that they always have to be compressing vocals, which isn't true. Oftentimes, if you don't have any compression going on, uh, say, for example, this section right here, the compression will probably only hit this peak, if I had to guess. Um, there might not even be any gain reduction. There might be half a decibel to one decibel of gain reduction. And in all honesty, that's perfectly fine because once you get up to this louder part um, over here, it will show that dynamic range. And that's what you're trying to show off. So let me play it for you right here. You can see on this the, the bars to the right of the vocal uh, word right there, you'll see an orange bar that drops down. You'll see it moving around. That's the amount of gain reduction that's going on. So just keep an eye on that for this quieter part. Then I'll hop over to the louder part. You'll see the difference. You will never notice me. Wanted you to stay around. Wanted you to hear me out. Wanted you to see that I was worth fighting for. Wanted you to scream and shout and find me loud. Fighting for I want it out So I knew that I was worth fighting for it Wanted you to love me for me I wanted you to see I So you could see even in the beginning you got you have some gain reduction that's going on uh and that's what you, you you're striving for. You want just the hint the smallest hint of uh compression going on there um, and a lot of people don't realize that even though there is nothing going on as far as a whole bunch of gain reduction uh, during the uh, that quieter part there is still that output gain uh, adjustment that is from the compressor I'll play this for you and then I'll bypass it and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about right off the bat too much baggage to unpack I guess I was hoping you would never notice me Wanted you to hear me out Wanted you to see that I was worth fighting for So it's it's the biggest difference in the world. That's really it, guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, be sure when you're working on records like this that you don't overcompress because it really squashes the vocal and gets rid of a lot of emotion that's in the track. So again, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to be putting out videos pretty often. So stay tuned. And until next time, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Too much baggage to unpack. I guess I was hoping you would never notice me. Wanted you to stay around. Wanted you to hear me out. Wanted you to see that I was worth fighting for.